everyone, hope you're doing all right. Back in the little silver spot today. Um, I'm actually sat in a ditch right now, trying to shelter from the wind. It's absolutely bitter today. It's like five degrees and really windy. So apologies if there's any wind noise. Um, but yeah, super excited for today. Part of the field that I've not really done much before. Stumbled across it last time. Uh, check that out if you haven't seen it. Um, but yeah, hopefully more history to be found. So I'll crack on. Let's see if I find something. Right, first time of the day, it's a broken thimble. Uh, not too old, but it's off, we're off to a good start anyway, so... Yeah, where are those hammies, eh? <laughs> right, we've got a big signal here, somewhere. Yeah, let's pop it out. Yeah, that's a coin. <laughs> what are you going to be? I don't know. I think it's going to be Georgian, as usual. Let me give that a quick rub, and we'll see. Uh, I could just about make out a bus there, looking to the left. That's uh, Georgia second, I do believe. Not much on it, I'm afraid. But yeah, still a coin. Well, I think we've got a lead something here. This thing here. I've got my brush out, because I think it's a token. What do you reckon? Blob of lead or token? Definitely something on there. I'm not sure what that is though. Oh, I'm not too sure actually. Oh, I don't know. Is it a token? Oh, I think it might just be a blob. I'm not. I'm not sure. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, well. Well, sometimes signals disappear. It's because they're stuck on your spade. I don't think it's anything good, but I just thought it's funny that I couldn't find it, and there it is. Nah, I don't, I don't know. Might be a bit of a coin or something, but yeah. Anyway, I oh, know it's a bit of a uh, sort of a cup thing, rim of a cup. Might be medieval actually. It's quite old. Very cool. <laughs> Right, I've got a weird looking thing here. What do you make of that? Is that some sort of decoration or a token? Oh, it might be a button, maybe. Yeah, I think that was a button. That's where the shank would have been there. Like, that would have been a really nice fancy button. Ah, cool. I just had to have a fairly old harness ring. See how crude it is, it's all uh, uneven and handmade. But, yeah, they would have just filed it into a circle. Probably cast it really roughly and just filed it off. So that might be fairly old, that one. Yeah. Well, I must have had about 30 buttons and 20 shotties so far today, but that's a big old dandy button. Uh, I don't think there's going to be anything on there. Uh, maybe a pattern around the edge there, look. Yeah, some sort of pattern around the edge. But anyway, yep, yeah, another button. Right, finally onto another coin. It was an absolutely terrible signal, so I think it might be Cooper Nickel. What do you reckon? Uh, yeah, I think it's a sixpence. Yeah, Elizabeth II, sixpence. <laughs> there you go, 1957. I told you it'd be a Cooper Nickel one. It was coming up at like a 10, it was rubbish. It was always sound really bad. There you go, another coin. Check out this key. Uh, it says the AL standard on it, so can't be too old, but I don't know, the writing looks like, I don't know, 20s or 40s or something like that. But I don't know, I don't know what that would have been for. Is it a padlock or something? But it's a bit weird, isn't it? Don't know, any ideas where that would be from? Obviously a lock of some kind, but a bit of a weird one. I think it says something around the back on the edge there. Maybe I'll get a better look later, but yeah, weird. 
Ah uh, yes, here's a pistol shot for the day. Um, been a while since I found one of these. It's a little one. But yeah, always nice to find. Well, in my last video, I found a really mysterious thing. People were saying it was like a muffler for a, a remote control aeroplane. And I've just had this. So I think around here somewhere, there's been a bit of a mini plane crash. Someone's crashed their little plane into the field or something like that. Uh, that's the only thing I could think that that's from. Maybe I'll find a bit more. Hopefully I won't find any bodies. <laughs> I think we've got a coin ball here. What do you reckon? I've had a million buttons today, so I wouldn't be surprised if it's another button, to be honest. No, I think it is a coin, but it looks like it's been very battered. I think that's Britannia there. Oh, it might be a date on it. Maybe not. That's George the First again. I can tell by the rim. Yeah, George the First. I think that's a farthing size. It's quite small. Which way up to go? Probably that way. Not very good condition though. But yeah, that's cool. Anyway. Now here's something that quite regularly pops up. Uh, I see it all the time on social media. Um, people saying they're like pipe tampers, and ends of spoons, um, steel um, wax seal stamp thingies. Um, but these are actually uh, cup hooks, I think. Georgian. Uh, obviously would have had a look at hook on the end. Had a screw there. You know, those big big um, units in the kitchen that have, you know, the plates uh, stacked on and cups hanging off. Uh, I don't know why they end up in fields. Maybe they have a little bonfire or it just rots away and then they're just put on the field. But that's what that is. Um, I think people think that they're more special than they are, but yeah. Anyway, Georgian cup hook. <laughs> right. That's a booming 25 there. Let's get it out and see what it is. Right, it's out. Where is it? Ah, oh, there we go. It was a coin. Who would have thought? Sure on that one. Ah, it's looking like George the Third there with his armour. Uh, yeah, pretty tasted that way, but I'd go with George the Third on that one. A little half penny. There we go. We've got a surface find here. Can you see it? It's not a. It's not metal. I'll go in a bit closer. Oh yeah, a vulcanite stopper. <laughs> oh, it's just a little dotty one, like that's one, isn't it? Yeah, pretty cool. Been a while since I've had one of them, hasn't it? Yeah, very nice. Well, that's your lot, I'm afraid. Um, I've broken my silver streak. I had a good run, to be honest. Um, just goes to show, you know, not every day is a amazing day, uh, even for me. So. <laughs> Uh, I think I've used up all my luck this week, to be honest. I won the rough, first prize raffle at work, so um, yeah, I was pretty happy with that. And then today, a uh, handful of Georgians. Um, no sign of uh, any amateurs, to be honest. Um, it just goes to show like how I must have just gone from good signal to good signal last week, just like just really lucky. And then this week, I've I've had non-stop buttons and shotgun ends, but that's just how it goes. So. Um, there's plenty more in this field, I'm sure, and I'll definitely be back again until the crops start growing through. Um, so yeah, still a nice day for me, so hope you guys have enjoyed that, and I'll catch you again next time. Cheers.